In one of our earlier videos, we talked about the top alternatives to VideoScribe. This video, however, is a bit different. Today, we are going to look at VideoScribe itself, specifically VideoScribe for browser. I'm sure by now you already know that VideoScribe is one of the most popular whiteboard animation software on the market. It is used by big companies and individuals alike to create stunning whiteboard animations. The good news is that you no longer need the desktop app to create videos with VideoScribe. Recently, VideoScribe released a cloud-based version of their software called VideoScribe for browser. In this video, we are going to be giving you a tour of the user interface and some of the features that are available inside this new version. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started, simply go to their website and sign up for a free trial account. Once you have done that, you can access the dashboard, which looks like this. Now, there are two ways to get started. You can either get started with a pre-made template or start from scratch. There are quite a few templates to choose from and they're grouped into different categories. Once you have found a template that you like, simply hover your mouse over it and then click on the use button. There is also a preview option. But for this demo, we will start from scratch. To get started, we need to click on the new project button. This will bring up a pop-up where we can choose the size of our video. We can choose from three different options. Using these various options, you can create videos for YouTube, websites, Instagram, and other social media platforms. I'm going to choose the 16 is to 9 size, which is perfect for YouTube and website content. Now click on the create project button and you will be taken to the workspace. The first thing you will notice is how intuitive and user-friendly the interface is. In the center, you have the work area where you can add all your content. On the left, you have the scene section. Now, this is one of the main differences between VideoScribe for desktop and VideoScribe for browser. In the desktop version, you have access to the infinite scrolling canvas. That means you can add as much content as you want and scroll around to work on different parts of the video. However, in VideoScribe for browser, they have divided the content into scenes. So each scene is like a slide in PowerPoint. This makes it easier to organize your content and also make it simpler to add animations scene by scene. I personally like the scene-based approach as it forces you to be more organized with your content. On the right side, you have all the customization options. Here you can change the animation type, duration, color of assets, orientation and more. On the top, you have the option to choose the hand type. You also have the option to switch on the grid view, which can be helpful when you are aligning different elements. You also have the option to undo and redo changes, save your project, publish your project and more. There is also the audio option where you can add background music or record your own voiceover. You can also upload audio files from here. Now that I have given you a tour of the interface, let's go ahead and start adding some content. Adding content is very simple. You have three options to choose from. These options are text, images, and shape. Let's start with the text option. All you need to do is click on the text option to automatically add the text to the canvas. You can then edit the text, click and drag to reposition it. You can change the font, color, size of the text from here. As I mentioned earlier, we can customize the animation from here. First, there is the type of animation. You can choose from hand draw, pen draw, draw, move in, fade in, drag in and bounce in types of animations.
You can also choose a different hand from here. Next, there is the duration of the animation. The longer the duration, the slower the animation. Then there is the emphasis animation. This option helps you set how you want your elements to animate and for how long once they are on the canvas. There are four types of emphasis animations, pulse, spin, shake and bounce. Most of the time I prefer to keep it to none as it only increases the emphasis on the chosen element without adding unnecessary movement to it once it is drawn. Then you also have the option to choose the exit animation and the pause duration before the next animation. Similarly, you can add images and shapes to your videos. When it comes to images, you can choose from one of the thousands of images in the library or you can upload your own images. To add an image from the library, all you need to do is click on the images option and then search for the keyword. For example, if I want to add a bird to the scene, I will just type bird in the search bar and it will show me all the related images. I can then select the image that I want to use and click on it and add it to the canvas. We can also resize it easily. Now if you choose the default animation for this element, which is the hand drawing animation, you can see how nicely the hand sketches the element on the screen. But when you upload an image from your computer, it doesn't have this fine sketching animation. It simply scribbles the image onto the screen, which doesn't look as good. To fix this, you need to select any other animation type other than the three drawing animation options, which are hand draw, pen draw and draw. I prefer the dragon animation as it looks the most natural. Doing this will animate the image in a way that looks like it is being dragged onto the screen, which looks much better than the scribble animation. Just remember to keep the duration short so that it doesn't look too slow and unnatural. And that's how you can add images to your video. All the other customization options are similar to the ones we saw for the text element. Another thing you can do here is to adjust the pause before next animation option. This is useful if you want to give the viewer some time to take in the image before moving on to the next element in the video. The shape option is pretty self-explanatory. You can add a rectangle, circle or any other shape to your video and then customize it according to your preference. Similarly, you can add multiple scenes to your video and rearrange them from the left panel. Finally, you can share your video through a preview link or you can download it as an mp4 file or as a gif. You have 10 download requests available per day. If you want to create more videos, you will have to do it in the desktop version of Videoscribe which you get access to along with this browser version at no extra cost. The desktop version gives you more options and customization but I personally like the browser version more. But don't worry, I will be creating a separate tutorial on how to use the desktop version of Videoscribe in the future. Videoscribe is available for monthly or yearly subscription. You can check out the pricing from the link below. If you're looking for a lifetime deal, we recommend you check out the software like Create Studio Pro, which offers more features at a one-time price. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.